back here at the friendly confines and we welcome you in already two away here in the seventh john choppy with chris singleton rafael ortega the next to hit good power not great in the OVP department. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Strike two. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. I have to regroup here. Left-hand batter waits. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and that is that. Cubs strand a couple, and this game is still tied at two and two. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Daniel Norris. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Here at Wrigley Field, new inning getting started. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Line drive, caught! Now batting, the designated hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback at the plate. And here it comes. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. Daniel Vogelback leaves the yard. His fourth home run of the season. It's 3-2. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. Here's Greg Allen. The left field, number 24. The Greg pitch. Allen. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Corner over to first. Two out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Ben Gamble. Here comes a pitch. Rips that one center field and a base hit. The catcher, number 55, Roberto. Roberto Perez standing in. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Into the bleachers and gone. Roberto Perez pops one out of here. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-2. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Jesse Chavez gets the call from the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Bases empty with two away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Cole Tucker. The pitch. The batter number three. That one out to right. And it one hops the wall. And he's got a double. 
Well the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for now him. Down. So that one has to feel ball. good. He hit that Boy. ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Hoy Park will hit next. And he deals. On the ground right side. And foul ball. A one down. Out towards right center field. Ortega racing over to make the catch. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Pirates five and the Cubs two. Bottom of the inning, Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. The Cubs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. They need a good at bat out of him right here. That one fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Next pitch misses inside. One and two to count. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side now across the strike zone, that's especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss Great off throw. the plate in. You not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. That was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece Whoa, at all. Frazier takes the ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. Two down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting the feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Here's Jason Hayward. The wind of the pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. And fouled off. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And the deficit remains 5-2. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Key three. Brian Hayes. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the Hayes. top of the list. And a pitch. Laser, base hit. Nice now job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. Yoshi. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man at first, and now it's going to be Yoshi Tutugo. Chavez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Hayward on the move. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 the minutes of balls 10. in the gaps. Brian. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. The pitch. The other way. Racing makes the catch. Out. Number two. Up next to the Pirates, the designated hitter, Daniel Vogelbach. Next is the designated hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He's coming off a big swing of the bat in the eighth inning, Chris. Yeah, he may still be riding a little high, and for him, hopefully the confidence is still there. It was a solo shot and a very important run in this game. And a pinch. That first offering is fouled off. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. And the right hander deals. And fouled off. Vogelback stays alive. Hayes, the runner at first with two gone. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. A two-run shot, home run number five on the season. It's 7-2. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. He really hooked that thing down the right field line but good thing that big pole was there to let us know could have very the easily just field. been a long pole. strike if he hit it out Ray. front any more than he did ripped into right field base hit back to back base hits solid swing from start the to right end field. on time Number with 18. everything really good balance Brandon. nice extension yeah. and he met it out front for the line drive knock Ben Gamble getting ready to hit Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. On the ground, right side, sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And We'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Keegan Thompson. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Tucker. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Cole Tucker. Got a here, guys. And a pitch. Base hit, one run in already. He's in there. Ball comes in, runner stops at third. Base is still loaded with two out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's the shortstop, Hoy Park. Here we go, the right-hander back to work. Now a bunt towards third. And that's just foul. Squares and gets it down the left side. On to first, inning over, and it could have been worse. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, Dua. It's the Pirates eight and the Cubs two. The second baseman. Magical stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering misses and one and one. 
Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One, two now. And that one handled. Throws to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Nico Horner. He's already singled in this game. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Good fastball in on the hands, makes the swing a little defensive, jammed him up right there. Up the middle, Park handles. Throw to first, ball game. And the Pirates put it into their four-game slide. 